hey guys welcome back to my channel today I just wanted to do um, I have to clean the guinea pigs cage not full clean just straighten up get rid of poops but I also wanted to um, just chat with you guys and um, catch up so let's go ahead and get started what we're gonna do is start with the big cage first so I'm just gonna move um, some of their stuff over here to get them to go they really didn't um, do much last night there's not really much to clean up um, so this side I may just scoop some poops whereas the other side I may take out their actual bed and take it outside and sweep it so um, let me go ahead and get my stuff I hope you guys had a great Christmas um, and you guys had a safe Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate during that time. And I hope you've had a great start to your new year. The guinea pigs have been doing pretty good. Everybody's in good health. Um, Carmel's, you know, he's my oldest pig at five and a half or so. Not really sure of his real age, but um, when I adopted him, he said he was a year old. So who knows? but um, everybody's been doing pretty good. <laughs> I'm surprised I've not seen anybody start popcorning. It's usually Carmel is the one who gets excited. So again, for him to be five and a half years old, I'm impressed that he can still popcorn and get really excited. So that was a quick clean on that side. All done down there. Um, I also want to clean their bowls today. I didn't, I changed the cage, full cage clean last night on both cages, and I didn't get to actually clean their bowls because I was in a rush to get home. So I'm going to do that before we're done. So what I have, this is just um, apple cider vinegar um, with water, and I use that to clean all their cage stuff. So, um, we do have to change all their litter boxes, so, but I also wanted to do a video like this because um, I've done a few videos of me cleaning the cages or my students cleaning the cages and I didn't really like, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a different view. I typically, if I do a GoPro thing, I used to do them when I first started YouTube, but um, I just really don't have a lot to talk about. I just feel like I'm one of those people that is not really good with the camera. Um, so I don't have a lot to fill time, but I guess we'll try. <laughs> Wanted to try today because I do have a lot, I guess, to talk about. So um, during, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what the guinea pigs did during Christmas break but they stayed here at school and I came and checked on them and um, when I went to Knoxville for a few days um, I had to you know to spend time with my family that's where we had Christmas um, I had a friend who would come in and check on them throughout the day and change their bedding that sort of stuff and her little kids um, if you were if you follow us on Instagram you would have seen a picture of them playing with the guinea pigs. That was before, um, or a video, not a picture, but um, that was before we left for Christmas break. I'm trying to figure out where my trash cans are. And uh, they uh, came in and helped their mom do that to clean this stuff. And then I've just been coming in and checking on them, making sure everybody's okay, everybody's in good health, giving them, you know, plenty of vitamin C, all that stuff. But uh, I did take Carmel with me to Knoxville, though, so I didn't leave him here by himself because I just, uh, he just, he just scares me um, being older, and he's already, um, he's already had pneumonia once. That was, I guess, about a year ago or so. He had pneumonia and um, ended up almost, oh, no, he didn't, he... He's had pneumonia, but no, last what he had, I guess it was about four months ago, is he got scurvy. So he ended up um, having 
a lack of a severe lack of vitamin C and even though I was feeding him vegetables and he was getting his um, you no know, he's getting plenty of vegetables and stuff evidently he was not eating them like I thought he was so evidently the guinea pigs were stealing and if you've watched my last video um, you would have seen that we've got uh, Reese's loves to steal food from other guinea pigs so that's probably what happened and so he ended up with scurvy he was bleeding from the nose and very sluggish couldn't walk so I just did not trust leaving him here by himself so um, I definitely brought him with me during Christmas break while the other pigs stayed and there was no problem with me putting them back in their little group um, they you know rumble strutted a few a little bit but then after that everything was okay so uh, everything was back to normal so um, and also the friend um, the friend she's a teacher so she was able to get in you know through the school can't let uh, people who don't go to school come into the school with a key or anything but she um, when I got back from break she left <laughs> to go on a Christmas vacation. So then I puppy sat for her and she has two dogs. They're kind of indoor outdoor. So um, I would go in the mornings, let them out. Um, and then they would, um, then I'd come in at night and let them back in the garage. They would, they were fed, watered in the morning. And then they have a heater in their garage. So it kept it all nice and toasty for them. Um, I also did some more dog sitting. So I was like the dog sitter um, during uh, break. And uh, one of my friends, she brought over her dog. And her name is Tinny. And if you were an early follower of us on YouTube, you would have seen that I did a video of Playdate with Tinny. I'll link it below or whatever uh, somewhere. And <laughs> this is when I first got Zoe. And her and Belle, I'll put a picture of Belle so you know what she looks like. Belle was my first dog. Where was this? Oh, it was here. Belle was my first dog. And um, her and Tinny were the best of friends. So I got Belle. She was about 11 months. And then I got, then um, my friend got Tinny. Well, um, about six months later. So it was about six months. Tinny was about six months. So Belle and Tinny are about six months difference. And they were the best of friends. Well, two years later, I got Zoe. And Zoe, I got Zoe at 11 weeks old. She's a little puppy. She was an uh, accidental litter from one of our janitors. So um, it was really funny. I brought her to school. The janitor brought her to school on a Friday and we hit her in the school. That was pretty funny. Um, and uh, of course, Zoe whined the entire time. So everybody knew we had a puppy in the school. But after a while, I guess when Zoe got about seven, eight months old, Tinny and Belle had a huge fight where Tinny punctured um, Belle's throat area. She didn't need stitches or anything, but it was a pretty all out brawl to the point where um, usually if, a, if my dogs get in fights you know, you can just yell at them and, you know, they'll shy away from each other. There was none of that. So I had to, sadly, I had to kick my dog. I had to kick Belle and practically choke Tinny by her collar to get them away from each other to break up the fight. Because when Belle um, bites, you know, she does not let go. She is a clamper. So finally got them apart. But since then, so that has been... I guess for a year, like they have just hated each other. So I was hoping, well, maybe this time, it's been a while since they've seen each other. Maybe when they bring Tinny over, they would like each other, you know, get along. Well, I was sadly wrong. So I had looked, locked the dogs up in the basement or the garage and Tinny came in through the front door. So upstairs and then um, I actually, sorry guys. So I took Tinny downstairs and immediately, which was a bad idea, 
thrust it, like I just opened the door and they were my dogs standing there and they sniffed each other and then it was an all out brawl. I mean, crazy brawl again. Hi guys, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? I know you want your vegetables and they are coming here soon. Well, as I was, thankfully though, um, nobody bit each other. However, I got bit in the process. Belle ended up puncturing my thumb. I thought I would need a stitch or two, but it ended up closing up overnight. Um, yeah, that was a little bit traumatizing. And Zoe loves Tinny. So we'll go ahead, we'll start on this side. We'll do the pans later. Oh, I didn't know you were in there, buddy. Come on. Zoe and Belle are best of buds. Well, because Zoe witnessed the fight, oh, uh, Zoe was absolutely terrified of Tenny. So here I have a dog that I've got to spend three days, three to four days with, and <laughs> my dogs hate her. So um, <coughs> I had kind of picked up some uh, ideas because I had, um, if you guys, again, follow me on Instagram, then you knew that I had um, fostered a dog named Tractor, and thankfully he is adopted now, um, but he is one of those dogs that, um, he's just very submissive, so he's very playful, but he's very submissive, so, um, Belle is very dominant, and, um, <coughs> Zoe is too a little bit, but Zoe is, um, very frightened of everything. I believe before I got her, um, she was attacked as a puppy because you don't, dogs don't just like develop, they're not born with a the fear, they develop it through, just like us, um, through experience. So I think she was attacked by a dog and so that, what did I, oh it's here, okay I need this. Sorry, I'm very one of those people that can't talk and do things at the same time. That's why it's difficult for me to do these videos. But anyway, so she was afraid of Tenny and Tenny it took, um, what I'd have to do is, I hated for both Belle and Tinny to be locked up, and I hated for Tinny to be in the crate. So what I did is, um, I put, I would put Belle in my bedroom and let her sleep on my, like, you know, spend time on my bed, which is a no-no. The dogs are not allowed up on my bed, but I let her anyway. Um, and so I'd let Tinny walk around, you know, in the living room, so her and Zoe could become more acquainted with each other. And then I would switch it. I'd put Tinny in her crate in the living room and then let Belle roam around in her crate. And both of my dogs, or sorry, uh, Belle and Tinny hate water bottles. So that's what I used to, when they got in a real tizzy at each other, I would just spray them with water. Be uh, Zoe loves it. Um, Zoe thinks it's a game and goes to get more water. So she likes w water bottles, um, likes the water squirter to her. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, that was a rough few days. But I'm glad to say that Zoe ended up trying to play with Tinny. I may um, put that video in here because it's pretty hilarious. But uh, Tinny would have nothing to do with her. Uh, I think she was just in a bad mood. Tinny's very moody dog. So she was mad that um, her owners were not there. So I think that's what caused it. Um, so we might do a, a video of a play date again of Tinny and Zoe. I don't know. But um, we'll see. But anyway, um, I think for this side, see, here's the thing with my pigs. One side gets really dirty. Like that side is very gets dirty. Whereas this side, they never touch. I mean, I try and put things, I am though, I did get these out. Um, these type things are currently in my store. Um, this is a, um, what is this? <laughs> a, uh, it's a pet bed. I literally, for the life of me right now, cannot think of it. This is a fleece tunnel. That's a cuddle cup. That's what that is. So let's see where to put this. Um, and for those of you, there are some people on here that, you know, after I've had this posted for a while, they'll be like, you don't have enough hideaways. Guys, I do. I have two blankets that go on the side and I usually provide at least two hideaways in the center. So if they 
feel like they need to hide, they can do it on their way to the other side. But um, I guess we'll just stick it here. Give them, a, they love little tunnels. I love this one because it's, it's with uh, one inch foam. And I brought this one. I usually give my guinea pigs the, uh, the rejects from what I've sewed because I, you know, I hate for them to go to waste. This was with a half inch and you can tell it's very flimsy. They could easily lay on it, which they probably will. So I really do like this thick one because it pops right back up. This one, it would pop back up. We'll give it to the boys. Let them play with that today. But um, yeah, we'll take the wood one out. So I do kind of like to change up their stuff every now and then. Um, this, all this in here is their play, their floor time because they will go through that very quickly. But yeah, I'm just gonna sweep that out. I need to have, I forgot to clean his thing. But, um, so what I'm going to do today, I am obviously filming this video, but then I'm gonna go in and, let's see. I'm going to try and finish up another video of the pigs today. Um, I had bought several things from wish.com and um, for both the dogs and guinea pigs and so I'm going to make two separate videos one of the guinea pigs and them testing out toys and then one of the dogs you know showing them your toy their toys and then them testing them out so that'll be two more videos um, so sorry I have been so behind but with the store opening and just teaching and working on my masters it's going to be really tough especially this round because i am doing two classes this semester so one is statistics of health um, and pe or sports or whatever history and then there's like a history of sports and stuff so i know those are going to be very time intensive um, so I, I don't know how the videos will go this year this uh, semester so so I'm hoping to get several videos done today so I can release them a little bit at a time um, so uh, yeah but I also wanted to give you a current update of the pigs because everybody's doing great we've literally not had sickness I say that now and wait next week but um, we've not had any sickness in several months which is great great for my budget <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm also, I'll have a link below to our store. I'm current, and that's another thing. I'm also currently trying to get, um, custom orders that have, people have ordered things and also, um, tr oh, I forgot I have trash can. And those who have, are just trying to get more stuff in the store because I haven't put things in the store in a while. So it's, everything's dwindling down pretty quickly. Oh yeah, let me sweep this up real quick. Where'd my, my broom go? There it is. So, a lot to do. You enjoying that food? Here, let's scoot this back just a tad. Okay, let's see what we got here. Nope, see you guys used to poop in that all the time. No, you don't. All the time. Oh, another thing I've been working on. Um, after Christmas, my parents came into town. And since moving, I've not had, I've done a little bit of organization, but not as much as I'd like to, especially in the um, part of my house, my um, unfinished basement. It's, I mean, it's got concrete and walls, but it's not like finished per se to where you could get, um, put it on a house saying it's a, it's a room, but it, um, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, let's clean these out. Well, where the area that I have for my store is very disorganized. Um, it's literally, if you've seen in pre I think a previous episode or something, I have one wall that has all my current things out like ready for the store, they're all displayed so I can easily find them. But then I would just have 
cardboard boxes that were just everywhere. Um, piled high, fleece on top of the other, just very unorganized. So what, uh, my parents came to town and what we did is we organized. Oh, that made a mess. So I got bins and all kinds of other stuff to um, put all my, organize all my fleece. So I'll have to give you a little tour. It's not where I want it to be. It's not like fancy, but it gets the job done and it's cheap. <laughs> My parents had found an old um, display or like something, a, um, a plastic heavy duty shelving unit that you would put in a garage or something. They found that. I had used it in a previous house when I lived here and did not have room in my new apartment or my old apartment that I lived in recently <coughs> before I moved here. So um, they brought that and we ended up um, putting stuff there for all my shipping and my printer and paper and all that in order to ship all the Etsy orders. So that helped out a lot and it, it just feels, it makes me want to work down there now because before, I don't know about you, but if something is very disorganized, a room or something, you really don't feel inspired to do work. So um, that's what I have been doing. And uh, just catching up on all my shows. That's what I love to do. While I sew, um, I have, I watch YouTube, other YouTubers, or I watch, um, uh, Netflix. And my current favorite, oh, where's some more, ah, where's paper towels? Gotta find them. Oh, I guess you'll get a little tour of our classroom, um, my double classroom. Um, I have co-teachers, and... We kind of rotate teaching. We don't necessarily teach together. Um, sometimes we, I mean, we're both sitting in the room, uh, unless it's during season and we have to run a quick errand around the school during like soccer, football, or whatever season, baseball. Um, but we always input in each other's lessons. So I guess we do co-teach, but um, anyway. Oh, forgot I was talking about. Um, so my current favorite right now is oh what is it called is it when calls the heart i can't remember when calls the heart they had me what uh something me and my mom do every year a tradition i'd say um is during when i go home for christmas at night we um will watch hallmark or any of those channels with the christmas shows that's what i love to do and so for the past two years i think it's calls the heart I'm gonna look it up real quick. Um, so I don't wanna steer you wrong. Got poop on this. Come on, come on. Well, of course, Netflix is, what, yeah, it is, Wind Calls the Heart. And I just love it because it's, it's family friendly, it's wholesome, there might be, a couple curse words like the D word or something like I think it we were about eight see eight um, episodes in when somebody got really angry and said that and I was like wow that's the first curse word that I actually heard in this there's no like you know um, well what's the word I'm looking for improper that's not the word I'm looking for but it'll do um, nasty things, you know, people in relationships doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. Um, so it's really wholesome for the family and I, I just love it. And it's, it's old fashioned. It's set in the 1910s, 1920s. And it's just, they're so proper, like when courting and I wish we'd kind of go back to that where it's not just, you know, today's society. I mean, you know, I don't have to go into that. Um, that's what I teach my students, but, um, just, crazy so it just really warms my heart that there's a show out there that is based in Christianity 
they talk about God and um, base certain things about, you know, situations in life, and they rely on God for things. So that I just love that because if you don't know, I am a Christian, um, and it, here's the thing: in Cleveland, Tennessee, again, that's where I live. Is it's the it's part of the Bible Belt. We have Lee University, which is where I went to school and um, played soccer and all that, and it's very it's a I mean it's a private college it's um, Christian and I just love this community I mean it's pretty great so um, the fact that you know all it's just really nice to be working with people who are Christians now obviously in any workplace there's always going to be people who don't believe the same thing you do obviously duh um, who um, so, you know, you've just got to guard your heart and all that stuff. But I really am thankful to be living in a place and work in a school system that I'm not alone. I have a great group of friends here that are very supportive and, you know, um, so, you know, just help you throughout your life, any situations, problems you may come into. I'm really thankful for that. Um, so, but yeah, you should go check out that, that uh, new that season it's really great um me and mom just like <laughs> i cry every episode i don't know what it is um i have just been so emotional like every little thing i'm like cry and it's not like well i guess it could be upset tears if something bad had happened but it's typically just like oh my gosh that's so amazing and i'm crying i'm like why am i so emotional i don't know it could just be that show but yeah that's what i like to do in my free time Oh, oh, and to add on top of everything, soccer season starts up, boys, which is about three months compared to girls, it's, you know, um, two months or a month and a half, so oh, that starts here. Uh, my master's courses start January 15th, and then soccer starts that last week. Did I already clean that one? No. Did I? No. Oh, well, it's going to get clean again. Um, master's courses start the 15th, and soccer starts that last weekend. So I'm trying to get as many videos in as possible. So I don't have to worry about that. I do want to do a uh, clipping nails video, how to clip your guinea pig's nails. Um, I do have a video currently that's up, and I'll link it below. But it's not the way I actually clip my guinea pig's nails anymore because it doesn't, my guinea pigs hate it and I get bit more in the process. So um, I found a way that's easier and it's probably, it's, it's less um, frightening for your pigs. So um, people have been asking um, how, how to do it. So I'm gonna do another video there. Um, I'm trying to think. I do have a list of things that um, when I asked you guys for ideas, I had already I've written stuff down um, of what you wanted me to do. So if you've come up with any other ideas, I don't, you guys say you want like a cage tour, but my cage tours are not exciting at all. I mean, look, like, look, there's my cages. That's the tour. Like, I just don't know what you would want in a cage tour video, but, um, I find it, it would be pretty lame. So, uh, yeah. But, I mean, if that's what you want, then I'll do it. It may be two minutes long. But, yeah. So, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else happening that is important. Mm. Not that I can think of. What are y'all doing over here? It's like cinnamon and caramel are having a little bit of a Hi, pretty girl. Hi. I know you guys just want your veggies. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Oh, speaking of Lee, here's part of the newspaper. So all I do for these is I put just newspaper in the bottom. I used to buy, if you have watched my How to Litter Train Your Guinea Pig, I used to use pellets at the bottom and it did work. It worked very well for absorption, but 
the store that I usually get it at doesn't didn't carry them when I needed them so I just decided well I'm just gonna go without them and I have to change the litter boxes more often I change them two to three times a week now um, but that's fine um, I'm saving money because it's you know five dollars I save you know five dollars a month so every little bit counts um, so yeah and I use Timothy grass hay for those of you wondering this comes from tractor supply I used to get um, a farmer used to donate hay but I found it was just too difficult I always had to have someone go with me because his hay is located at the top of his barn so I had to go up um, some stairs and with me having knee surgery last year I still cannot walk upstairs very well um, yes that is a problem and yeah I'm not gonna get into that but uh, uh, so I'm still having issues with that it's purple so it goes the voice um, so uh, and his hay was very brown and I didn't want to deal with brown hay so because the guinea pigs are very picky they always leave the brown hay obviously I mean why wouldn't you it's not the the tastiest again as soon as I put this in here this ends up getting moved over here my boys are so finicky when it comes to that stuff so I just decided oh well I'll just spend the 20 bucks and get a 40 pound bell of hay from tractor supply so works for me uh, so and I haven't filmed a another like morning routine or cage cleaning with my students because it's just it's been difficult for everybody everybody had been sick the flu was going around we didn't actually get out of school for it but so many of my kids were sick and we're having some issues getting to school on time, so um, I just, it's, I've just not had an opportunity, or um, me, I kept forgetting to bring the camera, because we have to film over a period of two days, so if you've noticed the kids aren't wearing the same outfits, it's because I only have one camera, and I want to just leave the camera at one uh, cage the entire cleaning time, so. And then I have to use my phone to do the little things that they're doing, you know, like filling the hay or stuff over there. So that's what uh, I had to do. Um, yeah. I also want to add back, because now, like, my pigs will eat this hay, but I hate the fact that they are only eating out of the bin that they poop in. But it's so messy with hay racks. I just haven't found one that I like because it spills all out over here. It's really a huge mess. So that's why we just change up the hay frequently. We take out the dirty hay, put fresh hay. I mean, I guess it would be the same with a hay pile. I mean, I don't know. So they always have this blanket over here because it, you know, um, you know, kids can get a little loud and they, they do like it. However, I've had people say things you still filming? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to make sure. Um, I've had people like, how dare you put guinea pigs in a classroom? You're abusing them. It's too loud for them. Guys, <laughs> yes, noise can be frightening for guinea pigs, but they will get used to the noises. I'm sure those of you that actually have guinea pigs, you've all been there where the slightest noise will frighten them. Guys, I, these kids put up their chairs every single day at the end of the day. It is extremely loud. And the guinea pigs are just sleeping through it back here. I have guinea pigs sleep out in the open. That should tell you that they're not scared of the students. They want the students to come near them because usually that means there's a treat involved. Because our students, every... Um, every class period the kids get to feed them so this it's a little messy right now but every um uh thing it tells them what they do um they get six pieces of veggies so they're just tiny little pieces cut up and they can pet and feed the guinea pigs 
Um, I have a group of sixth graders, even seventh graders. I mean, I don't know what it is, but kids love to fill water bottles. So I've kind of stopped doing that. Um, our group in the morning who helps me clean, we don't do the water bottles anymore. I just let my seventh grade students or whoever wants to, if they ask me, they can. Or I, at the end of the day, I tell my seventh graders to fill up their water bottles. So they'll take all the water bottles, put fresh water in them. Um, I will fill up some today. Um, theirs is empty here, but I did fill up several last night. Uh, well, this I never I didn't fill this one up, but these two are down halfway. So um, I may just leave them because these are the huge bottles, and I have had these bottles. I hmm, I guess about how long have I had guinea pigs? Um, it'll be five years in March. Yeah, because five years in March I've had guinea pigs. So, um, and I've been on YouTube for three years. So, yeah, five years I've had guinea pigs, and I these were like my first sets of bottles. Maybe they will, maybe they might be four years old, but all you have to do, let me show you. Um, some people will talk about they get the real expensive ones and all that stuff. They might be a little, I might need to clean them. Oh, this one's not bad. But there's a washer in here. And so I have, I don't know where they are. They're somewhere. They might be up there somewhere. But there are washers that you can buy at Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever, home improvement store, that you can replace the water bottle. So sometimes these washers go bad. Um, I did have one I did have to go throw away. Um, I use a Q-tip. I might do a video on that too. How I clean inside here because it gets really gross in there and I stick to Q-tip in there to clean all that out because if I put these in the dishwasher it still will not clean this stuff out so um, but it, it evidently broke the mechanism the little marble or whatever it is inside and it would not come down and so I had to throw it away so I uh, messed one of them up but literally I've had these for years not had any issues so these were like the three to five dollar ones at walmart so they work just as fine as does the glass bottles i don't want glass bottles in my classroom we already deal enough with kids knocking over things or i mean we break my ceramic bowls all the time so uh yeah that's always fun um let's see what else do i need to do they need their see look they've already messed that up they need their veggies um i will fill these two water bottles up. Um, I do have another video coming out. It is extremely late. <laughs> um, it's like 15 days late, but I, as always, every year I do, oh no, I have two more videos coming that I need to film. So I have one video of the um, uh, Pets in the Classroom grant where I show you the new toys and houses the guinea pigs got. It's $50 I get each year that I get to spend on the guinea pigs and I can do it with food or toys. Um, I usually do just toys and houses because I don't like the, the food so expensive at Petco or PetSmart and I don't uh, use the food that they provide. So um, that's what I usually so I'll just get that stuff. So I've got a video I'm gonna show you of what all I got, the pigs testing out the toys if they like them. Um, but then I also have a, um, so I have several similar videos. But then I have the day after Christmas shopping um, that I do, I've done the past few years. So um, this year, I still have a lot of dog stuff. I don't get anything for the guinea pigs because there's not anything really for guinea pigs for Christmas. So um, I usually just, uh, let me just sweep while I talk. I can't focus. Um, oh, let me shut that door too. So for, these are, this is all the laundry I have to do. I forgot my, the guinea pigs detergent at home. So I have to do that at home. And I don't enjoy that because now I have to carry two huge bags or three bags of stuff. But what was I talking about? Um, this is how my class goes all the time. I'll get talking and then I'll forget what I'm talking about. Oh, about the videos. Um, then the day after Christmas shopping and uh, the dogs have still, I have a little bit of toys left, left over because I always go and stock up on toys for the year for the dogs, um, like stuffed toys or rope toys or stuff like that um, because they're half off. They're 50% off day after Christmas, so I'll get those um, for them. 
but this year I didn't do as much. I still got some dog toys and they're super cute this year. Um, pretty excited for you to see them unless you shop at Walmart regularly and then you would know. But uh, so this year, because I have bought a house, um, I don't have anything Christmassy. So I did have a little that I had brought from the school. I had used to decorate my classroom a little bit. That's a no-go now. So uh, I just, oh, too much work. And I don't have enough storage. So um, I kind of wanted to spring clean a lot of that stuff. But so I went out and I had bought several things that I needed for my house. I didn't really see many decorations. I was kind of sad. Um, they just didn't have anything I liked. I'm telling you, if you want to go the day after Christmas to go shopping, the place to go is, uh, oh shoot, it's not TJ Maxx, Marshalls. It's um, not World, no it is, it's World Market. World Market, it's like you walk in that store and someone threw up Christmas all over it. I mean, it had aisles and aisles and aisles of Christmas stuff, Christmas decor. But um, they're still very expensive. Um, I bought, they were, well, I bought because they were, they were expensive to begin with. Um, the, I think the only things I got there was, I think I just got pillows. They were super cute pillows. They were down feathered down feather is that what you say um so obviously they were expensive they were twenty dollars originally each so i ended up getting them for ten dollars that's still pretty expensive in my book to pay for pillows but those pillows i feel like are gonna last me for many many years so i felt it was worth buying them and i just i kept going back to them um i would put them away and then i would go right back to them but um, TJ Maxx failed me this year. They had, I walked in, again, it, all, it always depends on where you go. Um, I was in Knoxville, so I don't know what Cleveland stuff, how all that stuff does. So I went, um, I always do my day after Christmas shopping in Knoxville, so that's what happened. Um, so, yeah, we ended up going all, we literally went like all over Knoxville that day. My mom comes with me. And she, she only, I think, came out with three items, and I had, like, bags and bags full of stuff. So let's go ahead and get the guinea pig stuff going. I'm going to fast forward through this or cut to when I'm actually ready to cut because this is going to take me forever to set up and wash vegetables and all that. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so now I have it all set up, washed, whatever. Um, I forgot to take this off. Okay, so each pig, depending on the size, um, I did about one piece of lettuce per pig because they are gonna get a lot of veggies. So there's you guys some. Here you guys go. And I love their lettuce. And Carmel's just gonna take one. Let's see if we have anybody stealing food today. I'm sure we will. Okay, everybody gets a carrot as well, a little baby carrot. Okay. Here we go. They always run. There you go. Come on, Godiva. Come on over here. Carmel clearly does not want a carrot. You don't want one? There you go. Or are you just gonna want everybody else's? Nope, you want the lettuce. Same as caramel. You want the lettuce. Okay. So everybody gets a slice of cucumber. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. put that there and then kind of even out the sizes here okay there's those and then I just kind of chop off 
chop up the uh, celery. You want to make sure you cut the celery. From what I've heard, I've never experienced it, but from what I've read that if you give them just a big long piece of celery, these little strings can end up choking them. So they say to always cut up your celery into small pieces. So that's what I always do. Okay. And we'll just divide those up among the pigs. Okay, you guys get that. You guys get that. Okay. Then we've got a green pepper. Get out all the seeds. Okay. And then I just divide up to thirds because they are going to get a um, vitamin C chewable tablet too. So I'm not concerned about did I give them enough vitamin C in their veggies because they will be getting it elsewhere. Clearly that's the last thing that they want at this moment. And then the last thing they do is they get a grape tomato. I usually give them one, but these are so big that I'm going to divide them up so they can all get pretty much what you would do they would get with a smaller tomato, but I just can't find the smaller tomatoes anymore. They're always so huge. So that's what the boys are getting. Okay. I think that's everything. Yep. So, oh, and then the last thing is their vitamin C tablet. Um, I don't normally get a big bottle like this, but this is all that I could find at, I think I was at Target at the time when I needed to buy some. So, um, because if I get the regular size bottle, I don't remember, I think it may be 60 tablets. Um, they, by the time I get down to the bottom of it, they start like getting wet or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this cotton ball in there to see if it will help. Because I always leave that little do not eat packet in there and it just doesn't work so i'm going to try leaving the cotton balls so i divide it up into six you could divide it up smaller but i i don't have a pill cutter and whatever's not absorbed in their body will be flushed out because it is a water soluble vitamin um, fat soluble vitamins which are oh vitamins a d e and k um, actually um, if not used, they will be stored in the body in the fat, so um, it's not very good to overdose on those, but um, this works. This works pretty well. So that means that, oh, oh, here, I'm trying to get Twix. He is very skittish. It always takes him a little bit longer than the others to get used to noises again, but he, he uh, accommodates pretty well. So um yeah and this is middle school so the kids are they are curious but they're not like elementary kids who would not know how to handle guinea pigs so and the guinea pigs are watched pretty closely and kids lose privileges if they mess with the guinea pigs so anyway i think that concludes our video here i don't think i have any i have food oh do need to get water bottles but i'm sure you don't want to see that so um, I'll just be walking the dark halls to um, fill their water bottle up. So, um, yeah, this concludes our video. I hope you guys have a great start to your year. And those of you enjoying, you uh, students who are enjoying Christmas break, um, enjoy that last bit up and um, before you go back to school. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.